The city you can see behind me here is the beautiful city of Kuala Lumpur and it is one of our favorite cities in the world. One of the reasons that it's one of our favorite cities is that it's just a melting pot of different communities and cultures. Today we have decided we're going to go out and explore two of the biggest non-Malay communities here in Kuala Lumpur, the Chinese and the Indian communities. Gentle, I know. <laughs> so they have a really interesting concept here because they don't have a restaurant on site. You pre-order your breakfast the day before and then they, the catering company brings the food in. You tell these guys your room number and then they get included with it like certain foods and pastries and free coffee behind here as well. So yeah, you can either come down here in the lobby and enjoy it or take it to the room because the rooms are all service residences, apartments anyway. So yeah, I've never stayed somewhere like that before so it's an interesting concept. So obviously because we are going to be going and seeing that cultural side so we're going to have a little bit of a splash around and then head out into the city before coming back later we're going to show you more of this place. It's very cold. <laughs> staying at is called Somerset Kuala Lumpur. The reason actually that we like this property is it's in a region called Ampang which is just next to KLCC so you're only like five minute taxi ride from everything but because it's a little bit just out of the center it means it's a bit more affordable and we'll talk about prices and things later as well. Yeah location is good, price is good so far, it's nice. Maya, are you going to school? Why have you got your backpack on? What's Loads inside? of toys. Loads of toys? Look. Wow, it's cool. Well, guess what? Our taxi's here. Adventure today starts in the area of Brickfields, an area actually I've never been to before, but is one of the biggest Indian communities here in Kuala Lumpur. So we figured, why not check it out? We didn't plan to eat here, but as we were leaving the hotel, I saw something on Instagram that I really wanted to check out. And it's basically a restaurant, Yal, which is Sri Lankan. I know that most of the restaurants here are Indian, but it looks really good. And it's been a long time since we had Sri Lankan food. So let's go check it out. First of all, can you tell me how amazing does it smell in here? It's so good, it smells so good. And sometimes when you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're eating in an area and a type of food that you don't really know and you're not used to, it can be a bit daunting going to some of these little, very, very local restaurants. But this place, it looks really nice, it smells really nice, the staff are super helpful. So the deal is with lunch here, sort of buffet style, you can help yourself to three vegetables, one curry and a rice and a bread I think and it's twelve fifty. Off the top of my head I think it's around two dollars which not bad. I 
don't ask me whatever it is. Like <laughs> took a bit too much. I had to try. There was a lot of really interesting things, so I wanted to make sure I tried as many different things as possible. So I'll give the official taste test when we get to the table. Right. Look at that chicken. Man. By the way, do you know what kind of fish that is? It's shark fish. No, I'm telling you because he's a salty. How's your chicken? Some of the best chicken I think I've actually ever had. Yeah? I think it's because it's like triple fried. We were in Sri Lanka a few years ago. It was always like egg hoppers, egg hoppers. We heard it everywhere. It was a really, really common thing, but we never actually had it. So today, Malia is having egg hoppers. There you go. We are very full, very happy bellies over here. Just to clarify, that didn't work out at 12.50 each because we were like kids in a candy shop and had to try a lot of things. So the total cost of the bill in the end, including drinks, all the extras that we had and, and everything like that, worked out to be 93 ringgit and we will put the USD um, $20. Uh, $20 total, which I actually think is great value because we're stuffed. So now, a nice short walk into the official area of Little India here in Brickfield. get hot and you're in Little India, check out Rick's Factory Cafe. They have good AC, but they don't have any internet, so that kind of sucks. However, coffee will do. <laughs> Okay, so what you guys have seen so far, this is Little India, which is basically a little hub of shops, restaurants. It's got a very India vibe. I have been to India, and this definitely gives me India vibe. Music and everything. We're going to check out one of the largest Chinese temples in Southeast Asia. Welcome to Tianhu Temple. You know. Yes. Are you asking me to get married or I was I just you were gonna doing a, what's it called, eloping? Go. <laughs> So here at Tianhu, because of its sort of cultural importance in the Chinese community, they actually have a registry office here on site, so you can come down here and get married while you're... seen like five brides already? Yeah, exactly. So you go in there, take your ticket and uh, Wait. <laughs> get your marriage certificate. It's Saturday, so the, everybody's got a day off work. They were like, what should we do on our day off? Let's come here and get married. <laughs> so Tianhu Temple is, it's often referred to as the six-tiered temple because it actually has six stages of, and it was constructed mostly for the goddess Mazu, which I find quite interesting because Mazu apparently is the goddess of that protects uh, sailors and fishermen. And seeing as there's not really any water around here. I don't know what the significance is to it being sort of dedicated to that particular god. And here guys is the wedding venue. This is where we're going to get married and invite all of the guests that we don't have. <laughs> Babe, we have the venue already. Malia can do us a dance performance on the and it would just be this, just us three. Yeah. <laughs> The rain is following us since uh, yesterday. Yesterday we had a lot of rain. It's always the afternoons, right? Yeah, it's, has it been like this the whole time? In the afternoon raining? I uh, know. Sort of after 3, 4 p.m. It's oh, raining like heavy. But yeah. luckily where we're going next is indoors, so. Welcome to 
<laughs> I know it, I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> Welcome to... Petaling Market. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, let's elaborate a little bit more. So the plan was to come into Chinatown. We are in Chinatown. Let's go over here. We are in fact in Chinatown. However, we can't really leave Petaling Street right now because it is absolutely pouring with rain. So luckily this street is actually semi-roofed. Semi There's a bit of spray coming in, but it's alright. So we can actually explore a little bit, show you guys around the market and hopefully there'll be some tasty treats for us as well. Yeah, because I'm already hungry. She's hungry, I don't you know. You ate how... too much. So. I, did, I did eat like three people's worth of food earlier in the Sri Lankan restaurant, but I'm sure I can find more room. Yes. Especially for dessert. Yes. Walking, walking, looking for somewhere to get some food. Ideally, we wanted to find some ice cream and like somewhere cool to eat. We actually just stopped at a Malaysian restaurant to ask him where would he recommend we go to eat good Chinese food, and he told us to go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go out of this area, have a little look around on the next street, see if we can find something delicious to end our day. It's a really vibey street. It looks like there's lots of cafes and whatnot. But I can see one on the other yeah, side. Yeah, it says long cafe. cafe. Let's go. Well, you guys seem to have uh, a private little booth. You know, they took one look at us and they were just like, you look like the kind of people that need a VIP room. So oh, they, wow. they directed us straight to the VIP room. <laughs> <laughs> we settled for Bubble Bee Cafe in the end because we saw waffles, we saw ice cream, we saw coffee, we saw other Brunch sweet cheese treats. Cake. And just, they have a vibe, it just wow. has a vibe. So yeah, I don't know what this is, but I think this is their famous bubble waffle or something like that. So we might have to try one of those. Go. Yeah. So this is my dinner. Yeah. No, really. And Malia's. That's, <laughs> that's my dinner. This is Malia's ridiculous waffle with what we got here, Malia? What are these? Oreos. Oreos, cream, <laughs> chocolate ice cream, Smarties, and I this think is why it's, it's a bubble waffle. This is why it's called bubble bee. And you got? I just went for a chicken wrap, something simple, because I'm considering having it just a simple dessert. And then mine is a tuna milk sandwich. What have you done? So we went to a really delicious bakery in our last vlog, which you should watch by the way, if you haven't already. And I was really gutted that I didn't get a burnt cheesecake because I just love a burnt cheesecake. We got some really interesting flavors, but then I saw when we came in, I saw a burnt cheesecake. And I was like, I have to have it. Well, you like it with a base. This one doesn't have a base. It's a little bit cheesy for my liking. I'm on the fence on this one. Okay. I'm right. on the fence. Okay. I don't know. It's not bad. It's definitely got a cheesy taste to it. Hey, so we're back in the apartment. Let's show you guys around. Come in. So we asked them to service apartments. We have a kitchen and we cooked one time. <laughs> you basically have everything that you need in an apartment. A dining table. A very cozy sofa, actually. An amazing view. I would say, yeah, the view is really, really good. And you can see it from here, from the bathroom and the other bedroom. So let's show you the bathroom because we think it's such a cool feature of the apartment. Me and Maria had a bath last night and we stayed here until it got basically dark outside. So really, really cool. 
and this is our bedroom right now you can see the entire view so there's no obstruction from other buildings which is really really nice then the last bit here we have basically Malia's it's basically the office space but they put an extra bed in there and we have a big cupboard over there where we put all of our stuff and here she is say hi so yeah, this is a huge apartment, lots of space, really nice. Last but not least, up on the 22nd floor, this is where all the action happens. You've got the outdoor swimming pool here, technically three small pools. You've got the main pool, You've got like a lounging pool with bubbles and then you've got the kiddies pool at the back there. And then where I am right now is the gym. It's a nice little setup, nothing fancy. You know, most hotels and residences don't have anything too crazy when it comes to a gym. It's enough for us to at least keep things ticking over. Everything's clean, everything looks relatively new and well taken care of. And it's a good space and I never, well, I've been in here three times. It's never been busy. And outside there is the main swimming pool. Beautiful views across the city. And that about wraps it up for today. We want to say a big thank you to Somerset Kuala Lumpur for having us stay in their beautiful residences. We've had an amazing time. It's a really great location. If anyone's looking for a good value property where you can cook for yourself, but it's close to the city, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. This is a pretty good option. So when I was looking online, prices here are starting from around 50 to 60 dollars per night, depending on the room that you're selecting as well. That does go up higher if you want one bedroom apartment two bedroom apartment etc you know we've stayed in some condos before where you just feel very cramped these are very spacious for the money that you're paying for them as well great facilities really convenient to the city so if you enjoyed visiting the two main cultural hubs here in Kuala Lumpur, Chinatown and Little India. If you enjoyed watching those with us today, please don't forget to click that like button. And if you are not subscribed to our channel already, please join the community, help us grow. Comment down below if there's anything that we missed that we absolutely should have done. Obviously our time has been quite limited, so I know we didn't see a huge amount, but we tried our best. And if there's something that we missed and we're like, kicking out we should be kicking ourselves that we didn't get there let us know in the comments and the next time we're in Kuala Lumpur we will check it out thank you for watching guys and we will see you on the next one